So what do artists mean when they talk about tinting strength? It's essentially a color's ability to impact another color. You can find out a color's tinting strength by adding a fixed amount of white to different colors to see if the resulting mix is light and pastel, meaning it has a weaker tinting strength, or dark and bold, meaning it has a strong tinting strength. The higher the tinting strength, the less a color changes when you add white. The lower the tinting strength, the more white you'll need to add to change its color. It's easy to think that a higher tinting strength is better, but that's not always the case, especially when trying to capture the subtle differences in areas like the skin. Some colors can be overpowering and using them can be overkill. This is why earth greens are popular in tinting skin as it's such a soft color. And colors like cadmium red can be a bully on your palette and they can be difficult to mix into other colors in a subtle way. You may have also heard the term staining strength, which has a similar meaning, but it refers to the pigment's ability to stain paper in watercolor techniques. It makes sense to own paints that offer a variety of tinting strengths. This gives you options when it comes to the power of the paint you add into a mix. Green blues tend to have the highest tinting strength of any color. You might use 10 times less thalo blue in a mix than other colors. A little blue goes a very long way but ultimately it's just good to have a knowledge and understanding of the tinting strength in your paint colors. This means you'll apply the right quantity of which paint and control the accuracy of your color mixes.